Hello! Uh, so today's day five. I have had a very wonderfully marvelous day. Um, it was a late start to the day. Got up at about noon 30 again, which was fine. Another day off, so woo! Um, went to Pitch Perfect, like I said I was going to, which was a really great movie, surprisingly good. I had low expectations for number two, because <laughs> I heard the soundtrack before I saw the movie, which was foolish, of course, but, um, yeah, I heard it and it wasn't as good as the first one, and I was like, oh no! So, but I saw it, and it was great, Anna Kendrick was hilarious as per usual, Fat Amy was in it more, which was funny, not too much Fat Amy, which I think you could probably do pretty easily, um, they had, uh, one new, like, other character that was, like, a minor behind the scenes, like, background character who was funny. Uh, and then also the new, uh, Haley, yeah, I don't remember her last name, but Haley, whatever, who played Juliet in the Romeo and Juliet that they recently did. She was really good. Her voice was really, really good. So that was fun to watch. Um, went to see it with two of my bestest buddies, uh, and had a super amazing time. We laughed and, and cry laughed and had a great old time uh, together as per usual uh, afterwards we hung out and we had dinner together which was really yummy uh, they cooked I watched and talked in a funny accent which is as per usual for our hangouts um, I don't think we hang out without an accent at least once gracing our lips um, usually some amalgamation of Scottish English and Irish sometimes Russian who knows it's a it's a very strange conversation we generally have but um but yeah we had a really good time which was really awesome I love hanging out with them Aaron and Shannon if you're watching good job for being hilarious uh, <laughs> and but yeah so we hung out we uh it was nice because Aaron is uh changing her eating habits as well so we're probably going to be going uh doing meal planning together which I was really excited about because I was like oh thank god somebody who knows more about fruits and veggies than me um but also somebody who is in my immediate vicinity who I can lean on for support and uh words of encouragement so yay um and when I say words of encouragement I mean in-person words of encouragement I really appreciate everybody who has commented and given me um internet words of su support and encouragement um I love you all and thank you very much for that um yeah but it was funny we all uh we always the three of us me Erin and Shannon end up in intensive conversations where we come up with ideas that I get obsessed obsessively excited about um and we had another one of those tonight for like a, a, a our age uh, bar that would be super duper fun to go to and that we all wished was already created so that we wouldn't have to be the ones to uh, come up with it and create it but of course you know we're geniuses so we already we came up with it nobody else did which you know great for us if we actually made the bar but we don't have the money to make the bar so <laughs> um, but we've had other ideas which have been really fun like um, together we're trying to write a trilogy which as of yet hasn't really happened but uh hasn't started but we've already basically got it completely planned out we we know who all the characters are where the um you know the the ups and downs of the story are gonna be and and um what the end goal is of the the whole thing but we just need to actually I need to actually put pen to paper and 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 write it oh, sounds like a lot of work but um, I think because um, tonight was so inspiring I think I'm really in the mood to write so I might might write tomorrow I'm thinking um, we shall see <laughs> I hope that I, I do because I'm kind of inspired and excited about it um, and three books is a lot so I may as well get started now but um but yeah I'm I, do you ever have those conversations where you're just like you get really pumped up and excited about about stuff ideas and stuff and it just gets your brain just exploding like fireworks with uh with ideas for other things and you get really inspired and you do a lot of other 
fun artistic or expressive emotionally expressive things that you you know wouldn't have done otherwise that was what tonight was for me so um I'm probably gonna write tomorrow which will be really exciting I'm, I only say tomorrow because it's like 10 30 at night right now which is you know kind of late to start writing um you know I mean I could but I have to work tomorrow so it would be probably a bad idea if I rode all night and then slept through the day because I would sleep through my shift and probably get fired which I don't want to do uh, I kind of need a job <laughs> um, but yeah so um, also I'm one of those people that people always look at me funny when I say this but I hate writing stories like typing I hate writing it on the computer so I handwrite everything I also have this weird thing where I think it's kind of a like I have this weird security like in my head I think that somehow my computer which is the lamest computer of all time and the least interesting computer of all time because I don't do anything on it but I feel like it's gonna get hacked and then all my good ideas are gonna be gone and somebody's gonna steal them and do them before me which is ridiculous but I still have that weird anxiety so I just write all my stuff down um but I also write in like the most aggressively illegible handwriting <laughs> it's like doctor's handwriting where it's like um you just can't read it you have no idea what's going on um so I've had to like practically read for people what I've written whenever I want anybody to like go over what I've written and so it's always exciting opening my journal and being like hmm will I even be able to read this um but yeah I don't know I'm just weird when it comes to writing um but it does run in my family my grandfather wrote and published a book of poetry which is really good it's really funny and some poems are pretty satirical and and funny like he he did a version of um twinkle twinkle little star and little Bo peep and one of one of the ones that i get stuck in my head a lot is um uh, 30 days hath September, April, June, and November, also 30 days hath Tony for not paying his alimony. Um, so that one gets stuck in my head a lot and is just a sort of a snippet of how funny he was. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of what I want to do and I've been telling people I've, I want to write, but you know, as of now, I, all of this has sort of and all my emotional mental stuff has sort of put a, a hold on all of my writing. I've, I, when I'm writing, I get into a headspace of, you know, oh, that sentence was so lame. Like, oh, that word choice wasn't good enough. Oh, you know, people are going to think this, that, and the other about what I've just written. And so I sort of block myself and I need to just put my pen to paper and just write. Just do it. Just not think about it and just write what I'm feeling and so we'll see hopefully that'll happen um because I have many fame plans for myself I have I have plans to be a very JK Rowling Suzanne Collins type writer so hopefully that happens uh, if not then at least hopefully I'll have tried maybe hopefully <laughs> but we'll see um all in all, though, today has been a really, really good day. Uh, Aaron and Shannon have been a big part of that, and I'm really glad that um, we reconnected um, last year. It's almost been a year since we got hanging out again, and it's because there was something that happened that kind of rocked our little, our little joyful, happy neighborhood of family, friends, and and stuff. So um, terrible circumstances for it to have happened, but really excellent outcome because um, I reconnected to some people that I don't think I could now see living without. They're really important to me and so so yeah so I'm really glad that we're we've reconnected and and stuff. Um, also another thing is uh, one of my other amazingly beautiful and wonderful friends, Kelsey, has uh, started to do the 40 day challenge with me. Um, yesterday was her day one and she posted a little video uh, on YouTube and uh, and it was really cute and I loved watching it and it made me feel warm and fuzzy inside so <laughs> I was like, <gasps> somebody actually is doing what I'm doing. I'm, I feel so important and, and life-changing. So um, 
also I you know I keep seeing my subscribers go up and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> I feel so important which you know I feel so supported and happy and uh, so thank you to everyone who has subscribed I really really appreciate it it's mind-boggling that I'm you know even you know interesting enough to people or or um, worth watching for people so um, thank you this has been a very rambly video um, and I'm sorry for that but um, I'm kind of a rambly person and I talk a lot and if you know me in person then you know that but uh, but yeah, so, um, so yeah, day five down, uh, two more days and I'll weigh myself, uh, see where I'm at, and I'll probably video that so that you can see, uh, where I'm at, so that I can be, you know, brutally honest with myself and brutally honest with you guys, because that's the whole point of this. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, feel free to, um, subscribe so that you can see when I post new videos, uh, like, because that makes me feel good and just uh, share if you want to um, maybe I will inspire somebody else you know who's been thinking about changing their life um, that would be super amazing to me I you know I, I love making people feel good that's um, it's a big part of who I am so uh, if my videos can help somebody you know then feel free to share uh, I'd love to to sort of impart my rambly words of wisdom but um yeah until tomorrow um thanks again for watching bye